if the ceo or the somebody in the cxo does not do it whether it's multinational whether it's indian and we deal with companies like coke facebook american express city bank google all of them the day you leave it to corporate communications from headquarters please believe me that the crisis is just going to get worse it is not going to work on a template certainly not in india the second biggest trigger for further crisis is to be tied down by your lawyers mm -hmm. the day you start listening to your senior counsel or what is it called yeah senior counsel senior counsel okay you are finished they don't realize that there are two battles to be fought one is the battle of credibility and authenticity with your employees with your stakeholders etc and then there is a battle in the court your general counsel and your senior counsel should be confined to the battle in court and just like a confession before a policeman does not get reflected in a court of law similarly there is no worry that your case in court is going to be ruined by anything you've said but please understand that there is a battle of public perception which alters the course of companies so if you want to survive there i would suggest that look at the cost of not, not. being present and not fighting that battle secondly unfortunately for all of us today with the constant glare of media what you tell bankers and what you tell employees must also be treated at what is going out into the general public because it is only an email away mm. from it leaking and much of it today gets leaked for either personal interest or because of lack of caution so whatever communication and whosoever is doing it communication is important speed is essential yeah. and ownership at the very top whether it is a promoter or a cxo yeah. is critical yeah. assign it to somebody who is not in the cxo suite and you can be sure that the corporation will pay an a higher price than it could get away with otherwise